My name is Manuel Tapial. I am the representative of a uh, Spanish coalition that is called Rumbo Agafa. Uh, this coalition is uh, joined by more than 85 different organizations of all over Spain and has at the moment, just in one month, uh, 25 different support groups in such towns. Uh, we have decided uh, to join this international coalition and to share to Gaza that Palestine is free. And um, Israel, with all his weapons, uh, and even being part of the Mai Marmara and being attacked brutally, uh, they didn't uh, stop our willing to follow joining for the, uh, into international solidarity with Palestinian people who are suffering right now for 62 years. So, joining this coalition for us represent uh, this uh, sweetness of the peoples. As a civil society, a Spanish civil society, uh, we want to be part with Palestinian civil society into this campaign. And of course, with all the internationals. Hello everybody, my name is Maria Elena de Villa. Uh, I come from Italy and I'm representing today uh, the Italian coalition, the Italian network uh, is uh, actually uh, collecting uh, more than 40 organizations supporting uh, Palestine and willing to, to free Palestine. Uh, Italy, with these uh, associations, uh, supported the uh, flotilla even during the first mission, but this time we want to be uh, a part of, of the flotilla, there will be uh, an Italian boat uh, participating to this mission and uh, we would like our government to, to support us uh, in, uh, in our uh, commitment to, uh, to, to give uh, uh, Palestine and Gaza uh, the, the freedom that they, they, they need. My name is Paul Feiler and I'm from Ship to Gaza Sweden. Let's work together with Ship to Gaza Greece and we have the boat together. I think that this meeting is very important to emphasize that the Israeli brutality and aggression will not intimidate us and we will continue to say to Gaza until the siege is lifted. And when the siege is lifted, we will continue to go to Gaza as people go to other places when they want and the people of Gaza should go where they ever want. I, I must say that this is very important that we have the civil society of Europe around us, that it is not a matter of uh, Turkish or Greek or Swedish, it is a matter of international law, and we have to press our government, our politicians, to live up to what they usually say that they stand for. They say they stand for international law, they say they stand for Chilean Convention, and they only speak. The only way of us to press them is to act. This is an action and this will be continued action until we will break the siege and the people of Gaza will get their rights. Thank you. Hello everybody. I'm Hussein Oruch from IHH Turkey one of the partners of the coalition for the first Flotella, Freedom Flotella. I was on the boat in Mardi Marmara. No need to repeat the same things. We are continue up to ending the siege, and after the siege, as the Lord said, we will continue to help to Gaza. Not only on that side, also our other support will continue for the Gaza, for other Palestinians living in Jordan, living in Lebanon, living in Syria, living inside the occupied lands in Israel. We will continue to support all that projects as much as we can. The only things I want to underline about UN Flotilla report, we believe it is really very important. What much we have a right to make that kinds of Flotillas they have underlined and they have declared that we have a right to go Gaza without any permission from the Israel, from the other countries. It is independent and everybody can sail 
to Gaza from the sea without any permission, according to international law, according to international sea law, according to humanitarian law, whatever you accept, UN say this. And another point, this UN mission is independent and consists of the judge. It's not political, just they have concentrated on the humanitarianism and nothing else. There was objective and we need to use whatever UN Commission said for international media and international peoples. We will follow that issues and all legal issues will continue. We will apply ICC and other international courts and we follow the issues there. Thank you very much. Hi everybody. Uh, that's uh, Nazim Kahir from the European on the siege of Gaza. I'm really pleased here today to announce with oh, no, no, our partner, no, no, no. PCS, we have a no, no, no. no, it's okay. 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 It's So I said that I'm Kahil Mazen from the European Campaign to end the siege on Gaza. Uh, we are uh, pleased to be here uh, today in Greece, a uh, country who supported us in the past and continue in that, in that way for this uh, mission. Uh, aiming to end the siege, this siege illegal, criminal siege, as we repeat and we said. Uh, we are uh, pleased today to announce that we are uh, now, we became bigger in our coalition. We have new partners from Italy, from Sudan. There, is, there are uh, others who uh, are on road to join us, like France, uh, very soon. And we are working in that. And uh, if we are here today for our regular uh, meetings, uh, we, uh, of course, would like uh, to insist that we are here uh, working on that uh, mission, or, or this mission, uh, uh, which is uh, really a very horrible one. And uh, we are uh, insisting to make of this mission a successful one, and we are going together. This is our duty and our right. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, I'm French. My name is Claude Leostic. I represent here with uh, one of my colleagues the, uh, the French Coalition for uh, Palestine Support. We were not as such part of the first flotilla, even though some French citizens were on board the ships. And we have now decided collectively to join in the next flotilla. The coalition I represent here uh, is made of uh, political parties, trade unions, uh, various NGOs, associations, Palestine support groups, about a hundred altogether. We're now starting the campaign to uh, develop awareness within the French population about the absolute necessity to break the siege, both for humanitarian and political reasons. And uh, we also want to extend our message to the uh, imperious necessity to stop the impunity of Israeli war criminals. So these are our uh, two slogans in developing our campaign. Put an end to the siege, end of the impunity of these criminals, and humanitarian help to the uh, people of Gaza. This is, of course, part of a more general approach of uh, support to the Palestinian people in the defense of their rights. And we intend to uh, participate fully in the success of this flotilla. Thank you. My name is my name is Moida Arraf. Uh, I am part of the Free Gaza movement. We have been sailing to Gaza since August of 2008. The idea started uh, within a small group. It was only five people that came up with the idea and worked on it. And when people noticed a good idea, they joined. And despite Israel's attacks, we kept growing. And today we've grown even more. And this should be a strong message to Israel that their violence is not going to stop us. And as long as our governments fail to hold Israel accountable, international civil society will act. There is no doubt that what Israel is doing 
is a violation of international law. The UN has said it, the International Committee of the Red Cross has said it, Israeli human rights organizations have said it, and now this latest UN flotilla report confirms Israel has violated and continues to violate international law. The question is, who is doing anything about it? Who is stopping them? We call on our governments to live up to their obligations and stop Israel. But if they don't, we will. And we call on everybody to join us. Hello, my name is Mehdi Mohamida. I'm here with uh, Nathan and Caroline uh, to represent uh, Swiss Network with uh, 20, 150, and, uh, 20, 220 NGOs in our network. And uh, I hope, and I hope uh, our uh, chief go early. Thank you.